I had a Rotopax water tank on my hog wagon for quite a while and uh, really wanted to add another one. One for the reason of having extra gas with me, let's say for the ATV or if my truck runs slow someday. The other reason is to have a better balance on the trailer. So I wanted to add a little bit more weight in the back, which makes um, maneuvering the trailer, especially with the ATV on top, uh, easier. Um, so I don't have too much weight in the front where the tongue is. And I can manually put the trailer in the garage and these kind of things. So it's a multi-purpose thing for me. Um, those specific packs tanks I have here are 1.75 gallons of capacity. Um, that makes them perfect in size. They're three inches thick, um, so they don't stick out too far. I don't have much room in the garage left and right, so I couldn't add any more, more width to the trailer. Um, they're a perfect fit on the M101A1 military trailer I have. It's a 1960 model year uh, trailer from the U.S. Army. Both tanks, uh, left and right, I'm maybe adding uh, an half an inch in total width, which I could live with. Um, but otherwise, it was a really good fit. Only thing I had to do is uh, remove these hooks. I uh, just used an angle grinder and, and um, cut them off and then just spray painted it on both sides. So I use Krylon white semi-flat. Um, and I mean, this trailer is meant for use and meant for hawk hunting, uh, not for looking perfect all the time. That's the Rotopax Deluxe mount. I just used a very strong welding magnet on the inside to keep that plate in place, then mark the position for the holes and then drill them out. All right, almost done, we get the four mounting holes drilled and did some more Krylon spray paint and um, attached the mounting plate to the Rotopax uh, mount. Uh, for those two I actually used some uh, rock set I had left from um, a silencer adapter so the rock set should make this pretty permanent. And then I'll give this maybe a few more minutes and then I'll just attach that to it. And that should be it. On the inside, um, we have some screws uh, coming through obviously to mount the, um, the bracket for the rotor packs. Uh, they are also just used Krylon uh, black. Uh, just to prevent um, it from rusting. The total install, I mean Rotopax tank by itself, the Rotopax uh, deluxe uh, mount um, probably runs you together at about, I'd say 100, 110 bucks on Amazon. Uh, so it's fairly inexpensive. Um, they look good and, uh, you know, they have different sizes available. So. For me, it was a perfect fit.